Well, hello, everybody. I find myself here with Michelle, who works for Matters, Matter Providers, excuse me. So, Michelle, it's great to see you. Why don't you tell the uh, listening audience all about your company and the services that they provide? Great. Thanks. Yes, I founded this company in order to be the services, the supply chain and logistics services provider for the Navy and hopefully other services as well and also industry to follow the deployment of additive manufacturing technologies because as we deploy those technologies, those those agencies and companies and, and services that want to use that technology are going to need the materials to go with that. So they're going to need supply chain services to provide, to plan, and aggregate, and position and deliver those materials for them. So that's our goal. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the materials. Are they mostly uh, metals? Can they be liquids? Uh, uh, maybe even gases, uh, other states of matter? Um, no pun on the name of your company, but tell us about the uh, materials that you uh, are going to procure. No, great question. So the two primary buckets of materials when people talk about additive manufacturing, big, big, at the biggest bucket level are metals, powdered metals typically, and polymers. And then underneath those two big buckets, there's lots of different kinds of materials. On the metal side, they might be aluminum, titanium, copper, steel, you know, the list is very long. Same on the polymer side. And the, te the material is often selected or the, it's determined by the application of the part that the company or that the Navy might be trying to produce for. And so the application of that part would drive which material is being selected. Okay, so uh, in my involvement in this uh, wonderful trade show over the last couple of days, I have learned about some of the needs or to, de be, to be able to develop parts, um, like on an aircraft carrier that's out in the middle of the Pacific, let's say, they, a part may fail and they may need to actually have one fabricated right there on the ship and quickly. So um, tell us a little bit about how your um, procurement will uh, help that to come to pass. Yeah. So terrific. You know, it's, it's one of the Navy's big strategic goals. They want to reduce the tyranny of distance, right? They don't want to have to come back to port to get that part or carry that part in inventory on the ship. They want to, if they want to be able to produce it on the ship or in, you know, very far forward locations, right? They will need the materials for that. So the, the, our, our goal would be to make sure that they have the material available that would be required to produce that part and to work with the Navy so that materials either on board on the ship or the materials are in the appropriate forward um, locations that they would need in order to actually print that part. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, if I ever need some materials for myself, I'll know who to call. And Michelle, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the uh, trade show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.